Hello? So I am headed to um, where my husband's um, company is at. We call it the yards where all the trucks park, the trailers get parked when they're not in use or when they're getting loaded or unloaded. Because he's going to be in town for like, oh, all of um, maybe 15 minutes. Max probably 30, but he's going to be at the yard. Um, and he called me 30 minutes out and said, look, I'm going to be there. You want to bring me some lunch or have lunch with me? So I have Zach's piece. I have a grilled chicken salad. And he has a grilled chicken sandwich. And of course, I do have sweet tea with lemon in it. But you know, um, I'm doing this get healthy thing by degree. Um, I can give up some things, other things not so much. So um, I thought, you know, well, while I've got a minute, um, I thought I'd do this. Now I did check online. I checked on YouTube about dash cams and stuff. And I think I'm actually going to order one because since we are going on vacation, Stay focused and to remind yourself that it's okay if your work's not perfect. It's okay if you have a bad day, you don't feel like writing. It's okay if the blank page overwhelms you. It's okay. Um, I had a few bad days in the very beginning of this Camp NaNoWriMo and I did a video, I think it was last camp or during NaNoWriMo in November about depression and writing and how it affects, how it can affect you. But I think it's really important that you take care of yourself and that you do things that make you feel good, um, positive things that help you stay motivated, um, find creative things, um, do things that help you stay inspired, that inspire your muse, I art journal, I take pictures, I read books, I watch television, I take walks, I go outside and spend some time outdoors and that tends to help a lot. I also journal and that gets all those feelings out whether it has to do with writing or it has to do with personal stuff it doesn't really matter it just gets that stuff out and it makes me feel good um sorry. hello it's Burgess Taylor and I thought I'd um, hit on a few things for Camp Nano Ramo that I haven't went over the process of writing is different for everybody you come up with an idea the idea simmers you stir it around a little when you think you have all the ingredients or maybe you've got a pretty good idea of the ingredients um, you start trying now that's kind of like a recipe and I think the recipe for a good novel it really just depends on not so much the process of you getting there I think a good, good writing is good writing Great writing is great writing. I'm not trying to win the Pulitzer Prize. I'm just trying to write a good story. So I'm looking for the best recipe for my writing. For my story. Not for what somebody else is doing. And I think the key to good writing is to write your story to the best of your ability edit it to the best of your ability and if 
you write and rewrite and edit and rewrite after a while that story is going to improve more and more and more nobody says that first draft has to be awesome how the first drafts probably really I've said it before and I'll say it again the first draft is usually going to be a piece of shit and that's just the honest truth and you know I could beep that word out but that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell I've spent a lot of time trying to find my writer's voice. I spent a lot of time trying to find my process. But more importantly, I spent a lot of time trying to improve my writing. Trying to improve my process. I've talked about writing a lot. I think it's time I stopped talking about writing so much. I started writing. So I stopped blogging as much. Did some YouTube videos, which I never really thought I'd have done. But I think it's improved my overall confidence, my self-esteem. I've talked about depression and anxiety. I've talked about ADHD. And they say statistically that a lot of creative types are more prone to those. Or maybe we have them so we're more creative. It's like the, the chicken come before the egg. The egg come for the chicken. I mean, do we write because we are creative? Or are we creative because we write? I don't know. I do know that last night I had this burst of inspiration. The night before that I had a burst of inspiration. One night it was 3 o'clock in the morning. One night it was the crack of dawn. The sun was streaming through my windows, and I imagined my character. I saw her. I saw her. I saw a piece on somebody in a magazine on the front cover, and it had a name, and that name stood out as if it were almost highlighted, and I knew. I knew that was the name of the first name of my main character. I knew as soon as I saw it because I have done all this research and my mind keeps going back to these two different things, these two different things and I keep looking things up and looking things up and it's all centered around those two main things and when I saw that name I knew and those are the moments the moments when you find yourself awake at 3.30 in the morning so inspired that you can't go back to sleep because you had this thought, this idea, this thing about your character and it speaks to you and you have to write it down. You know you have to write it down. So you take pen to paper and you write it down. And you know that now you won't forget it. It won't be lost in the shuffle of all the other ideas all the other inspiration that you failed to write down. So this Camp NaNoWriMo for me has been a, an uplifting as well as frustrating. The first few days were frustrating. I let depression and anxiety and angst, which are pretty much the same thing, but in a different way. I was nervous about physical therapy and nervous about my diagnosis, anxious about what it would mean for my future, anxious about what it would mean for immediate, the immediate consequences, like my vacation, where we planned our vacation around the week of my birthday so I could choose where we're going as part of my birthday present. What do I do if the physical therapy means that I'm in too much pain to write? That I can't sit at the computer and write? That I can't sit in the chair with the, and with the laptop and write? With my legs extended so that I'm not sitting upright so that I can stretch my legs and get circulation flowing because it's really important that we stop and that we walk around a bit and get our circulation going. It's not healthy to sit for such long periods of time without 
stretching and exercising, at least walking around. I've spent numerous NaNoWriMo events perplexed because I couldn't finish a novel, perplexed because so many characters were speaking to me but they had nothing to do with the book that I was writing at that time. Not this time. This time that character is speaking to me and you know it's funny because this novel that I am working on for camp it's from a prior NaNoWriMo event. But when I was writing this, during the act of writing it, I remember thinking in the very beginning that my story was good, that an idea was good, that everything about it except one or two little details, that it was good. And the more I got into it, the more I wrote, the more I questioned myself, the more I doubted myself. And before the end of that NaNoWriMo event was even finished, I was ready to chuck it. I was ready to call it quits because I didn't think it was good enough. And months later, I am reading it and I know that it's good enough. It's good enough to be edited. It's good enough for parts of it to be rewritten. I just rewrote the whole opening scene. I just rewrote what was supposed to be the prologue and I'm putting it into the backstory. I just rewrote chapter two and you know there were bits and pieces of it I just took out, I cut away and then so much more I added. But if I hadn't participated in Camp NaNoWriMo this time, if I let that fear and that anxiety pr prevent me from doing this, and as I do this, my, my shoulder is screaming in pain, but if I had taken myself out of Camp NaNoWriMo, I'm not sure that those ideas, those flashes of inspiration that came in the wee hours of the morning I don't know that they would have come to me or if they had if I'd have known what novel they were meant for or if I'd have had the courage to take pen to paper and write them down so that I wouldn't forget. I hope maybe some of this inspires you. I thought that it, maybe it was a little bit time, I, I don't know, sp spoken from the heart about writing. I am a writer. I am a poet. I'm an artist, I'm a person, I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother, I'm a wife, but I am learning new things every day and the great part about that is I'm learning new things about myself every day. And I love being a writer and I need to remember that every single day. This is something that I love, that I'm passionate about it and Camp NaNoWriMo helps remind me of that most days. Have a good one. Bye.